Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another The Bold and Beautiful Review. And this week had me laughing, very entertained, and then <sighs> that damn limb. <sighs> but we'll get to that and then let's talk about the good stuff. <laughs> Steffi versus Sheila. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Steffi all in Sheila's face. She don't give a damn. <laughs> a complete 180 from what she was acting just a month or two ago hilarious so i just saw at the end of last friday's episode um steffi had um steffi and finn were banging on deacon and sheila's door wanting to come in and get in their faces oh so rude just come over and argue with somebody <laughs> yeah but steffi you know standing up to sheila like i'm not scared of you i'm a fourth third <laughs> But um, Sheila was just talking about, you know, for the first time, I'm in love. I feel love. And this is love. <laughs> and Steffi's like, oh, you're a psychopath. You don't know what love is. <laughs> and Sheila's telling Steffi, you know, I trust I'm not a threat to your family anymore. <laughs> but um, Steffi was like, you know, telling Deacon, she, you know, Sheila's just trying to con you to get back in the family. You know, <laughs> it hurt him like she does everybody else. And she was like, I respect that um, you don't want me in your lives, but hopefully you'll change your mind. And Stephanie's like, you think that we will welcome you with open arms after you done shot us and left us in the alley to die? Uh, no. <laughs> Well, Stephanie, you still could possibly thank Sheila for saving your daughter, but, you know, I'm grateful. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why she wouldn't, but, you know, still. But, anyways. But, you know, Stephanie thought it was funny. <laughs> and that, um, she was telling, you know, it's funny that you think that Finn will take, will take you back. And then she also thought it was laughable that Deacon thought that he could stop Sheila. But you don't know Deacon's power, you know. Daddy can handle some stuff with some Sheila. Trust that, Steffi. <laughs> He's got her to back off so far because Sheila was about to do some shit. You yeah. know, so he does have some power with that, definitely. <laughs> um, But Steffi is like, um, if she messes with their family again she won't have to answer to deacon finn or her dad she'll answer to her <laughs> i thought i said and or her i was like well then who's she gonna answer to <laughs> but then the funniest moment oh my god steffi punching sheila Oh my god, just a slow mo punch like oh. <laughs> I'm like, is this meant to be funny? Cause I'm laughing. <laughs> it was too funny. Oh, yes, Rocky. No, mommy's doing a review. Rocky wants to get an interview. You wanna talk about Sheila? I think he has a thing for Sheila. <laughs> oh lordy. Um Afterwards, I love this quote. Steffi says, That's what you get for shooting me and my husband. And if you dare to come near me and my family again, I swear to God, you're going to wish that you were behind bars. You mess with the wrong woman. I'm like, That's right, Steffi. You tell Sheila. You tell her nine toes. You ain't scared. I got ten toes. I can take you. <laughs> Anyway, so and Sheila was really good about that, definitely. I thought it was funny how Deacon, uh, um, I think he brought it up twice about Lee pushing Sheila's face in the spaghetti. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, Rocky. Mama's doing the video. Come on, get down. <laughs> I don't know why he's so buggy today. Lordy, okay, I'll give you a massage. <laughs> Lordy. But anyways... Finn and Steffi go home. <laughs> now I think about it. The thing, I don't even think Finn even said anything 
<laughs> I think Deacon got in like a couple of words, but it was just mostly Steffi and Sheila. I think Finn just stood there and looked pretty. I honestly don't remember if he any if he said anything. But he just got home. They went home and then they were kissing and their children came running in. And who was that big dude? He was like hella tall. I was like, damn. Who that? I'm guessing their nanny. Um, <laughs> I was like, they got a manny? Um, <laughs> and he said he misses babysitting, so I guess he is a manny? I don't know. But I thought they were with Lee, but I guess, like, I'm tired of little rubber heads going. But, <laughs> anyways, I thought, now that I think about it, Finn was saying that dinner was almost ready, but they ordered out. <laughs> I was like, um, is that what you mean? It um needed to be delivered. That's why it was not ready yet. I don't know. But apparently Kelly and Steffi love the same food. So when so Finn didn't have any trouble ordering food for them. <laughs> oh Lordy, but Kelly mentioned that she had talked with Liam. So he knows that they're home. Ben's face, like, oh, you talk to your stink ass daddy. Of course, he didn't say that, but the look on his face, I don't know if we said it. But, anyways, they put the kids to bed and they just started making out on the couch. And Finn mentions, you know, Sheila and stuff. He's like, I don't want to talk about your mama. I just want you. I meet you. And I just started making out. Like, damn. Steffi. That's why Steffi really came home. She was horny. And that's what horniness does. They, it gives you extra superpowers <laughs> to tell off your nine toes uh, mother in law. But, anyways, yeah, she didn't waste no time taking his shirt off. I was like, yes. I like what is going on. And he started unzipping her coat. Next thing you know, he's picking her up and taking her in the room. I'm like, damn. And I forgot who it was. They had, I think it was Finn that had the flashback later. <laughs> later on in the week, he had the flashback. <laughs> and also, I know, you know, I love foreshadowing. I always think that something is like a um a sign or something to come. But as they're going into the room, they show the pictures of um Kelly and Hayes on the table. I'm like, hmm, baby number three. It better not be a who who the daddy storyline, or I'm I might be done with this damn show. Cause I cannot stand Liam. No, I won't. I probably still watch, <laughs> but still, I'll just complain. I'll just complain. <laughs> but anyway, Steph went back to work. <laughs> yeah, she went back to work, and um, yeah, Kern Bridge were catching up. Uh, Rich did not tell Steffi about Eric, though. So, that's, um, I guess, um, one thing at a time. But, um, I guess, you know, eventually, if you tell any more people, it'll be bound for everybody to know and Eric to know also. But, um, Steffi was sad that she missed out on the show rounds. I'm like, oh, Lordy, child, if you'd only been there, dream up. <laughs> but, um, Steffi told Rich that she punched Sheila. <laughs> just but he worries that, you know, Sheila was going to retaliate. But, um, Steffi's like, you know, I'm just going to keep fighting. I ain't scared. You scared. Something hit her up in the mountains. <laughs> I swear. This, this Steffi. Lord and hoof. Or maybe she just needed to get away in order to see the light that she needs to fight. Her mental mother-in-law to keep her fine ass husband. I'm just saying, ugh, and that damn Liam is back. Well, fuck it. Oh, Lordy. But his sexy ass daddy was too. Was like, Woo! And I guess now that Wyatt just up and disappeared. Um, well, I, I, I know that. Um, are you done? You want, you, you're done with me? You don't want me no more? Okay. <laughs> um, I guess, um, Darren left the show, um, played Wyatt. I know he left, he, um, wanted to leave the show, but, you know, they didn't really explain what happened to Wyatt, so, <laughs> I guess in a couple of months, we get some stupid reason why he left town, like, um, 
Oh, Lordy. Quinn. Like, they gave Quinn, and, like, she just all of a sudden decided that she doesn't love Carter and just left. I'm so mad about that. Bold. Anyway. Um, so I guess Bill is taking Wyatt's place to be the one that Liam talks about his love for Steffi with. But, um, they have dinner, and Liam fills Bill in on him and Steffi. And Bill actually said something nice about DK. He was talking about how good his pizza is. But he did mention that it seems like DK um, learned how to make pizza instead of, like, some plates in prison. It's like... <laughs> oh, lordy. <laughs> but, um, Liam said that he can give, um... Um, Steffi and Kelly a more secure life than Finn can. And I, he keeps saying this, but I'm seriously wondering how can he save them from Sheila? You know, I, I think Finn is, I mean, I guess he thinks that Sheila wouldn't care about Steffi if she's not with Finn, but I don't know. Anyways, <sighs> Ridge goes to see Liam for some reason, but I mean, he ends up, Ridge ends up telling Liam that Steffi punched Sheila, <laughs> and Liam tries to convince Ridge that Steffi needs to leave Finn. And Ridge is like, you think that, you know, anybody can tell Steffi what to do? And Liam's like, you know, she'll probably listen to you. You could be that person. And, um, but he says that, um, Steffi would be safer without Finn. And maybe come back to him. I'm like, there it is. I knew that's where your little ass was going with this. And, you know, I think this is all more about, not about her safety, it's more about him wanting Steffi back. That's what I think. I don't think it's about saving her. I think it's more about him wanting her than saving her from Sheila. And Rocky, what is your issue? This child is so needy today. Lordy. Ugh, but anyways, Liam ends up going to see Steffi. He's <laughs> some crappy-ass cheesy line. Oh, I just knew seeing you would brighten my day. Lord, and Steffi should have slammed the damn door in his face. But, basically, um, he tells um, Steffi that um, she should come back to safety. And, sorry, my nose itches. <laughs> it's Liam's fault. <laughs> she should come back to um, safety and leave and come back to him. I'm like, oh, lordy. And it seemed like Finn was on his way home, so hopefully he's on his way home and chucks Liam in the ocean, and then Sheila doesn't come and save him. That's just my feeling. <laughs> but speaking of Finn, Rocky, stop. Stop. Mommy's doing a video. You don't need anything. <laughs> anyway, so Finn wondered, Rocky, stop. Finn, hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. I had to kick him out of my office. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. He usually leaves me alone when I'm doing videos, but <laughs> he's even kind of, he's probably mad at me because I told him he couldn't stay in the room no more because, our room, because he got into some stuff in the room of Eddie's, my husband's, and he'll have to do that, deal with that when he gets home. But anyways, I'll hear with himself before he starts scratching at the door all sad. But I put his food and water outside of the door. He'll be fine. Anyways, back to the review. So Finn and Lee were talking. Lee thought that he would take some time off since Steffi's home. I was like, he got some last night. He can um get some more when he gets home. <laughs> but, you know, Finn changed the subject from Sheila and actually, you know, why she's taking her hatred um, of Penelope, or what do you call her, Aunt, Auntie P, um, out on her daughter, Luna. <laughs> and, um, 
she was, um, we just said, you know, she doesn't want him to go through what she went through with, you know, she helped her get a job and then she screwed it up. So she doesn't want Luna to come in, screw with the Forsters, and then mess up stuff with him and Steffi, you know. You already got Sheila to deal with, you know. But sure enough, Penelope shows up. I, I think it was only a matter of time. And it's just me, but she looked hella young. I was like, how much younger is she from Lee? Because at the first glance, she looked like a young, like, young girl. <laughs> like, I was like, how young is, <laughs> how young is Luna's mama? <laughs> but anyways, I love the dress she had on, too. It looked really cute. So she went to go see Luna. She said that Lee has been bugabooing her. <laughs> Texting her like crazy to tell her to, you know, come get you. So you can get out of Forster Creations. And Luna's, you know, she's happy where she is and she doesn't want to leave. And Penelope likes the little setup she got going on there. So I forgot what Luna went to, but she left. And Lee shows up, and I'm like, oh, damn. Time for some fighting. <laughs> and Lee was just, you know how Lee is. Her face is automatically, what are you doing here? <laughs> just jumps up. <laughs> and, you know, Lord, and, you know, fighting and bringing up the past and stuff. I'm like, oh, sure down. So I'm wondering who's going to walk in on this. <laughs> we'll have to wait for Monday's episode. Oh, lordy. But let me go in the order that I took these notes so I don't forget. Um, Eric, Donna, and Ridge, Brooke, lordy. <clears throat> Donna wanted Eric to go see a doctor, but um, he just wants to celebrate his win. So he keeps coughing. He ended up coughing up some more blood, too. Um, he says he's going to take back his office and the business. <laughs> he's like, I am Forster Creations. Like, damn right you are, Eric. You and your stapler will rule the <laughs> rule the company once again. But um Ridge thanks Luna for finding the stapler and you know, just told her the history behind the stapler and um Eric comes in the office, um, sees that, you know, Ridge set everything back up in his office and then, you know, shows him the stapler. It's like, oh, and it said, um, um, Steffi had, oh, my God, I forgot what it said at the bottom, but from Stephanie, it's like, oh, love Stephanie, oh, so beautiful. And Rich says that, um, if he had to lose to somebody, at least he lost to the best, a living legend, that's what he said, a living legend. <laughs> but, um, Rich had confronted Donna, also, she was really pissed, he was really pissed that Donna wouldn't tell him about um, his father dying, and she's like, she was just going by, you know, what Eric wanted, he didn't want nobody's pity and stuff, and, um, we're just like, you know, do you have a diagnosis, you know, who's his doctor he wants to talk to, and it's like, he just goes from, oh, he's not doing very well, to he's dying, which, you know, Rich has a really good point, the doctor hasn't really said what, um, Eric has, he just says that he's dying, <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay so what is his illness does he have um you know there's no treatment you're just gonna let him just deal with what he's dealing with i don't know i have to question even the doctor is hella sexy dr colby it's fine so but still you have to wonder you know what's really going on here yeah i'm like i don't know if you could um really think he's up to something, but I don't know, just the way that they had this going, you know, you never know, it's a soap opera, crazy things have happened, but I don't know why Dr. Copley would want him to think that he's dying, I don't know, but yeah, it, I always just think, I've just been thinking it's kind of fishy how, you know, it just escalated so fast, but I don't know, but yeah, he started coughing up some more blood, um, it's just, Thursday's episode. Wednesday, I don't know. Because I watched Tuesday through Thursdays. Thursday night. So it's like, you know, 18 minute shows back to back to back with no ads. It kind of just runs together as one long show. <laughs> but yeah, RJ comes in and um, Eric wants to celebrate their victory. And Ridge comes in. Um, 
He's saying that he's got to get used to knocking. And Eric's like, yeah, I guess I'll have to share this office with everybody, basically. Like, oh, if only you knew what you were sharing. <laughs> but he says he's not going anywhere. He says he's happy to have his stapler. And Luna found it, so they should make her um, COO. And we're just like, I just want my dad. And I'm like, oh, so cute. And we just got those glasses on again. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Hope and Tom is back. Of course, you know, they had to try to have sex in the, the shared office. I didn't know that was a shared office. I thought that was Hope's office that they were in. But anyways, Hope got a haircut. It's hella short. And I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this. It's like, it's, it, she looks like a different person. It's like, I don't know. It's just a haircut. Just I don't know. It, she doesn't look like Hope, but it kind of fits how her character is. You know, it's just like, I'm a rebel, baby, with this short hair cut. But I wasn't feeling that dress, though. That dress, like, no, it didn't look really cute on her. But, yeah, the hair definitely screams, I'm a rebel, and I will do what I want in this shared office. Which is kind of the attitude she was giving to Steffi when she walked in. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. Thomas was calling Hope his queen, and he can't. Stop thinking about her and then kiss and just like all over the desk and Steffi just walks in. She's like, oh my God, what are y'all doing? This is a shared office. I was like, oh God, you've been so good with locking the door. And Thomas is like, I should have locked the door. And she's like, Thomas, put your shirt back on. It's classic sister talk. Isn't Steffi the older sister? And Thomas is younger. I, I forget. They I think I think they mentioned that before, but I forgot. Um, but um <laughs> yeah, Thomas had to deal with um some delivery problem <laughs> and so he was kind of scared to like stepping in the room, but she's like, Go, I'll be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, she wanted to talk to Hope. <laughs> Um, Steffi wonders, you know, what Hope is doing, what she's thinking, you know, she's just, um, you know, messing with Thomas, uh, messing up with Hope for the future, and Hope says, you know, that nobody's going to stop them. And, like, you know, it's like our parent, our mothers know about it. Now that I think about it, has Rich ever, like, really come out and say how he feels about it so i don't think he would bad mouth hope especially to brooke but you know taylor had no problem doing that this week um but yeah Steffi did you know accuse hope as using using thomas as a sex toy i'm like that's exactly what she's doing <laughs> a sex toy that loves her very much and she doesn't have to replace the batteries or charge it you know, she just go right up to him and use it whenever she wants. That's the best. I'm just telling you, Steffi. You need to get with it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, um, Hope mentions Liam. And then, of course, Steffi thinks that, you know, Hope is just doing this to get back at her for Liam wanting her. And Hope's like, she don't even think about her like that. <laughs> Always thinking it's about you. But, um... Hope uh, says that her and Thomas are fire, which I agree. I like fire. <laughs> then they start talking about Sheila, and, and um, then it's kind of like Steffi's like, oh, I kind of feel bad for you. Your dad thinks he's in love with Sheila. <laughs> um, but yeah, Hope did say that um, you're becoming your mother's. And Hope's like, I used to be afraid of that. I'm so lordy. <laughs> but yeah, while they're arguing, Brooke and Taylor are arguing <laughs> about Hope and Thomas blaming each other's kids for, um, you know, everything going on. But, you know, Taylor is right. Hope is the one that pursued Thomas. You know, this is not Thomas' fault, Brooke. You know, I mean, it's not his fault that he he's trying to be a changed man and he's looking really hot while doing it. And your daughter's just really horny, just like your ass is. So, <laughs> you 
Yeah, she just said that t- she's using Thomas as a rebound because she hasn't even filed for divorce yet. And I'm like, first of all, how did Taylor know that? And second of all, I was just thinking about that. Have have they even finalized their divorce? <laughs> I'm like, I remember they had those scenes like a couple of months ago where they're talking about, um, yeah, it was at um. Best party at the best party. They were talking about you know signing the divorce papers and stuff, and you know Liam can't forgive Hope, so why haven't they filed for divorce? <laughs> you know, and Hope too is like she's done with Liam. They can't work it out, so you know why haven't she filed for divorce? That's just stupid. Or I guess maybe she's just doing that so Liam can't have Steffi, but. Then again, Steffi ain't even trying to get with Liam. She doesn't care about him. Like she told, like Finn last week, she got the voicemail from Liam, uh, from Liam, but she doesn't even care that he left it. He's, she still want to fight Sheila and stay with Finn. So she's not even worried about that. So whatever. But Red shows up, you know, to break up the fight between his baby mama. <laughs> um, before it goes any further. <laughs> but um Taylor says that it's dangerous for Hope to do this to Thomas where um because he's in love with her and then of course Thomas walks in <laughs> and Taylor tells him that being with Hope is a mistake and Thomas says that Steffi is telling off Hope <laughs> and Taylor's like that's my girl I was like oh my gosh <laughs> Taylor goes somewhere <laughs> And Brooke says that Steffi should worry about Sheila. Um, and then, um, of course, everybody talking about Sheila. Brooke mentioned that um, Sheila has a job. <laughs> and Taylor's like, Sheila has a job? Like, yeah, her man got her a job. <laughs> and she's like, can't believe it. So, of course, Taylor has to go see um, Sheila and Deacon too. <laughs> Sheila was um redecorating Deacon's little their little shack. <laughs> and Deacon loves it. He wasn't mad at her. I'm like, why a man not mad at her his girl for changing stuff in his house? But no, he uh, that just shows how much she's in love. He's okay with her changing stuff. Like, oh so beautiful. <laughs> but um um, but you know Sheila had to bring up Hope. You know, it's like I don't want to hurt your connection with Hope. You know, I already messed that up with my son. <laughs> but anyways, Sheila apparently was late for her shift, and she thought that Hollis was at the door, but it was just Taylor. Cause you know everybody has to come over and boop in Sheila and Deacon's face, and Taylor just looks hella. Fucking petty because she ain't got no man, so she's all mad at Sheila. She's like, Sheila has a job and a man and a place to stay, and I have nothing. Yeah, because what happened to that house? Did um Taylor stay in that house after Ridge left her? That's some shit. <laughs> oh, but basically, Taylor asked Deacon if he's lost his mind. I'm like, yes, he's in love. That's what happens when you're in love. You lose your damn mind. But Sheila tells um Taylor that she's changed and that Taylor has saved her. <laughs> but uh, like really girl? She saved you, but you still shot her daughter and your son. But okay. But Taylor warns Sheila to stay away from her family. I'm like, Lordy, if Sheila had a dollar, but every time somebody warned her to stay away from their family, she'd be rich and her deacon could have, she'll have even more room to decorate stuff. Redecorate. Redecorate. Or if, if it's a new place, decorating altogether. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So. What is Taylor going to do? She's just going to come into town every two seconds and tell off Hope and Sheila. <laughs> Hope, Sheila, and Brooke. Like, them three bitches. <laughs> I don't know, but Taylor just looks so unhappy. Poor thing. She needs a little something-something. She should go talk to Hollis. Or Bill. 
you know. Um, I know she shot Bill, but, you know, crazier things happen on the soap opera. Anyways, that's all I had to say about Bold and Beautiful. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week. And if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe because we're not. I'm just saying. I, I think you'll like it. <laughs> Anyways, and you can share this video even if it's just to laugh at me. Enjoying this crazy ass show. <laughs> and if you want to know what I, who I think are the winners, losers, and what is the best and the worst of this week's episodes, check out my Sunday video, the weekly highlight show where I'll discuss that, as well as the same for Days of Our Lives and General Hospital as well. And if you didn't see last week, check that out as well. And I will link, once I post it on Sunday, I will link it at the end of this video. But until then, it'll be, um, last week's episode will be up there. Episode. Last week's video will be up there. I don't know why I think I'm making TV shows. It's the internet. Anyways, well, internet can have shows too. Anyways, I'll sh shut up. Stop talking for it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Love you guys. Bye.